In the recent military airstrike bombings the United States had conducted in the Middle East in early 2024, artificial intelligence was used to identify and pinpoint the potential targets. At least 85 targets were selected with the help of AI, known as Project Maven. However, AI was not used to actually fire the weapons. It provided the list of targets, and the military personnel chose which targets to strike. As a result, US fighter aircraft, bombers and missiles selectively struck multiple hostile locations, which contained rocket launchers, drone operations, and militia activities across Iraq, Syria, Yemen, and even the Red Sea. So what is Project Maven? Project Maven was an initiative launched by the Pentagon in 2017 to bring AI into the battlefield to support military targeting. This time period coincided with the US's combat against Islamic State militants. With the help of Google at that time, the US military experimented with computer vision algorithms to locate and identify targets based on satellite images, video footage, and other sources. Traditionally, it would take people hours or even days to comb through huge volumes of surveillance data and satellite images to identify potential military targets. But with the help of AI and machine learning, the tasks could go exceptionally faster. And in the heat and urgency of battle, speed can be a winning advantage. Problems began to surface at Google, however, when many employees refused to participate in technology that kills people. In their protest, they demanded that Google cancel that military contract work. And eventually, Google did cave in and withdrew. Realizing that other countries may outpace the US, with the US falling behind in the AI arms race, the Defense Department decided to proceed with Project Maven and sought other contractors to continue. Companies such as Palantir, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, L3 Harris, and Maxa Technologies participated. In time, Project Maven improved with constant training, experimentation, and enhanced modifications. It was eventually linked together with the weapon systems of fighter jets, bombers, and even drones. Battlefield data can all be brought together onto a single screen using what's called the Maven Smart System. You could now combine live data feeds from multiple sources, track various aircraft movements, monitor battlefield logistics, watch for threats from a bird's eye view, and even monitor locations of key personnel, all on one single screen. With this, a commander can see the whole battlefield at a glance, and hundreds of other people can share this same live data simultaneously if they are logged into the same system. Besides using the latest satellite and video imagery, it can bring in data from radar systems that can pierce through clouds, rain, or darkness. It can also incorporate heat-sensitive images from infrared sensors that can detect bodies and hidden engines. Last but not least, it can also pick up on non-visual cues, such as social media feeds and smartphone geolocation data. The war between Russia and Ukraine provided yet another opportunity to continually train and battle-test Project Maven. Satellite intelligence of Russian assets could be shared with the Ukrainian military for potential targeting. Project Maven can provide an overview of the battlefield and identify multiple targets of interest with exceptional speed. With the data presented, the operator can then decide which targets to select. Human decision is a crucial part of the decision loop. Project Maven itself does not fire weapons. Interestingly, the adoption of AI technology in warfare is not about replacing human decisions, but enhancing it. Despite the advanced capabilities of AI, humans remain at the front of the decision-making process. This is particularly the case when it comes to verifying potential targets and deciding on the best course of action. Project Maven does not recommend the sequence of attack or the best weapons to use. The implementation of AI in warfare has not been without its challenges, there are inherent risks with relying on AI, and the potential for mistakes can cause deadly harm. Other concerns include hacking of the AI system, loss of satellite and other data needed by the system, and even hallucinations caused by AI itself. As a result, the military is extremely cautious in its use of this technology, with humans continually checking AI targeting recommendations.
This is of utmost importance since a crowded battlefield may contain many innocent civilians. In summary, the role of AI in warfare is expanding, with projects like Maven paving the way. This technology offers a new level of precision, speed, and efficiency in identifying potential threats and targets. However, the human element remains crucial, both in decision-making and in ensuring the accuracy and reliability of AI systems. As we move forward, there are two forces tugging at opposite ends. One is the speed and urgency of the AI arms race, fearing that our enemy will outrun us and gain the ultimate advantage defeating us. The other is the constant need to apply slow, thoughtful caution and guardrails to this evolving technology that can kill. This balancing act between these two major opposing forces will probably never come to an end. If we must innovate, then we must do it with a conscience. To get continuing updates on these AI-related topics, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and feel free to leave comments or suggestions for other AI topics you are interested in. Until the next time.